Welcome. In front of me I have the Xiaomi 12 Pro and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. As you can see, I do have the verification screen right over here for the Google. On the previous page I will have a pattern to verify and as you can see there's also this little lock to signify that the device is obviously locked. Now for this process we will need two things. Number one would be internet connection. You can see right here I already have connected my device to network. And number two will be SIM card which I have right here with a pin as set on it. Now most of the SIM cards come with PIN already pre-enabled from the provider. Uh, if you chose to turn that off, you will need to pop it into another device, go into the settings and re-enable some kind of PIN of your choosing. You can just set it up as a four-digit PIN, that's all it is. Uh, additionally, you can also use, maybe you have some kind of like old SIM card that does have a PIN, but the SIM card itself is already like uh, non-functional as in it, it doesn't have any services. Uh, that won't matter. You don't even need to know that pin. We just need a SIM card with a pin so when we pop it in it locks the device. That's basically what will happen. So I do that right now. There we go. SIM card in. Give it a second. There we go. Once it shows up with this, so enter SIM pin. Pop out the card. And as oop, it just timed out, so that's okay. I'm gonna put the case on. So it slides less. So there we go. You should see this screen right over here. Do not unlock it. What you want to do is grab the uh, notification right here and drag it down. This will show up this little like bell icon. And from here, you want to select hop notifications. And now we're gonna scroll down to, this is gonna be right at the bottom, YouTube. Click on it. And let's look for additional settings in the app. So it's the last thing visible. And then here we're gonna select, uh, let's see, how about? And then we're gonna choose help. And in the describe your issue, you wanna type in delete or disable. Technically delete uh, or, I think shows up as a suggested option already. So that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Delete or disable apps on Android. So that's what we're looking for. Once you click that, um, <clears throat> you want to select the first uh, first uh, link right here. Or link or I don't know how you can call this, but basically the blue text right here, top to go to application settings. That's what you want to do. And from here, we're gonna tap on the more, show system. And we're looking for Android setup. So there we go, Android setup is one. So let's stop on it and select for stop and okay, and go back. And now we're gonna scroll down even further down and we're looking now for, let's actually see if there is. Looking if there is another Android setup just in case. Okay, it doesn't look like there is one. So uh, from here, we're gonna now scroll down to Google Play services. Store, there we go, Google Play services. And we're gonna select disable, and disable app. And uh, for some reason, it just kind of uh, did something. So I'm gonna refine it, there we go. I'm gonna select for stop and okay. Now, I don't think that that was normal where it just kind of like glitched and took me out of the setting that I was in. So don't worry if this didn't happen to you. I don't think this should happen at all. Oh, there we go. As you can see, uh, now the button changed to enable and it is ready for a stop as it's, it is grayed out. So from here, we're now gonna go into uh, back out. I'm gonna scroll down even further, all the way down almost. And we're looking for settings. There we go. Settings. Now there is two different settings options. As you can see, one and two. Uh, I'm gonna check the first one, so the higher up one, and this is the one that we need. 
so this is the icon that you're looking for a little bit lighter and in here you will have open option the second settings application will not have that uh, link right here to open so that's the one that you need now from here once you have opened up your settings I'm gonna scroll down to accessibility or additional settings and then there we go and then accessibility menu accessibility accessibility menu toggle it on allow and it shows us that it adds this little thing right here so let's select ok that's basically all we needed to add so from here I'm gonna now simply back out gonna progress to the to the next page sorry for that needed to sneeze great timing for that anyway continuing this um, you will have this page next so copy apps and data let's select don't copy and this will now take us right here now this will be stuck on this page which is basically what we need it to be if for some odd reason this goes further for you uh, that means that you didn't disable the google play services so you need to basically follow, kind of like back out through the video and uh, again repeat the steps to disable the play services but anyway once it's stuck in here and what we will do is simply press on this button select google assistant this won't always work then i'm gonna select settings which again didn't always work And as you've seen, just for a, just like a maybe frame or so, it showed, showed us Google Play Services page, the same one that we have chosen to disable Google Play Services. And what you want to do is simply enable them. Now, this entire process will require you just to kind of like keep repeating this process till you manage to enable them. Uh, I think, though I might be incorrect, uh, the faster you try to do it, uh, the the better chance of you actually managing to enable uh, you have so you want to just kind of like start spamming the device with inputs uh, till it actually allows you to enable it so i'm gonna start doing that right now there we go so that's the page and you're looking to enable this right over here as you can see once it opened up for me i immediately select enable this page will also close once you have it open if you don't do it quick enough i believe so yeah once you have enabled this let's go back click somewhere else and let's go to the next page not sure why that opened and i think the entire process just kind of uh, got broken on me Hopefully not. We'll see. Really? Oh, yep. Yeah, it's it's actually good. Okay. So uh, from here, we're gonna just choose our search engine, and we're gonna finish up the setup, uh, basically skipping everything that we can. And as you can see, we have skipped the page where we would normally need to verify our uh, our Google account, which shouldn't really be possible, right? Now this will allow us to access the home screen and in turn from the home screen you want to navigate into settings and then I believe go to additional settings where you will, you will find the option to reset your phone. Now the reason you want to reset it is because performing a reset of the device through settings will remove all the leftover trash that was from the old account and virtually unlock it. So um, I'm gonna all right, there is no outdoors. I'm just gonna open up settings right here. Scroll down to additional settings. Scroll down and select. Oh, it's not in here. Oh, but we have a link. Okay, so factory reset right here. Select erase all data. Factory reset. Select next and then okay. Now I won't be going over this on the video just because this is a factory reset which takes like two minutes. Uh, of uh, just absolutely showing nothing uh, you don't need to do anything and once it's finished you will be immediately taken to the setup at which point you can set up your device however you like so all you need to do to finish up the bypass fully is press on that ok button so there we go 
So that is how you bypass the Google verification on this phone and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.